Hello world. I'm George, my last name is not important, because I have been brainwashed, into, forgetting it. As well as my past, in its entirety. The cocktail, they shot into my veins, is slowly starting to wear off, causing me to, begin, recollecting things, so. Enough about me. How about you? How are you all doing today? All comfy, and cozy within your homes, are you? Where you are totally minding your own business. Not having a care in the world, yes. Well, at one time, I was exactly, just like you. Happy, semi-broke and careless. Then one night, I went out, drinking with my friends. Got totally wasted, somehow, I must have been butt naked, in the hallway of my apartment building. At some point, my friends can be such bastards sometimes. The funny part is, the way I found out. Someone snapped a photo, and put it on the internet. Now everyone is calling me an, alcoholic and bo, whatever the flaming hell, that is. Anyways, I didn't wake up in the hallway, of my apartment, or even in my apartment at least. This is where things get, really odd, picture it. There I was laying on a cold, slab and tied down to it. I tried to scream to no avail. An evil laugh, is all I heard, every time I tried to scream, when I tried to scream, my body totally refused to move. The only thing that would move was my mouth. So I asked, where am I? What do you want with me? Am I going to die soon? You're in an undisclosed location that cannot be revealed. You have been selected for a very special job. And no, you will not be dying anytime soon. Next thing I knew, I was sitting in a waiting room with a bunch of other guys, waiting for further instruction. Tried talking to some of them but, it was like pulling teeth. They wouldn't talk to me. So, I finally gave up, and began staring at the wall, which sounds nutty, all of a sudden. Then, without warning, the lights went out, and became totally dark as night. I'm not afraid of the dark. But, damn, it was darker than being outside at night. <laughs> this total darkness, lasted, for what seemed like forever. Slowly, a low humming sound started. Just, as the floor also started to, slowly move forward. A sickingly, grayish light, also slowly trickled on. All the guys that were in the waiting room were on the moving platform. Seems. We were in a single file line, going who knows where. As the low humming sounds began getting louder and louder. It became horrifying, as, I watched, one by one, each guy in front of me, get injected with a, green glowing liquid. Rendering him useless to do anything on his own, without being told what to do. I remember thinking, oh my god, what army in hell is this? We have been forced to join, without our approval. Then sadly, it was, my turn. All I can tell you, is that, I began to feel like an empty-headed plastic shell of my former self. All of a sudden everything went blank. Like someone had turned off the switch to my brain. When the switch was flipped back on, I realized that we had been put in a storage room, waiting for someone to want us. Luckily or unluckily, I didn't have to wait too long. As I was chosen quite quickly, they just slipped a parachute on me, wished me luck and said, don't even think about going AWOL, then laughed diabolically, wait, what, where am I going, how am I supposed to fight a war, without knowing any of the important details, will someone, please, tell me what is going on, a little, yellow, heart shaped light, riding a motorcycle, flew around my head a couple of times, then it finally stopped in front of my eyes, almost blinding me, by the way, and whispered, just never you mind the details. You are to do whatever, Rebecca types, and clicks for you to say, and do. You may not talk to her directly. She probably would not listen anyways, you will not be able to see her, hear her, or touch her. However, she will be able to see you, hear you, and tell you what to do. She cannot touch you though, well. Have fun. We don't want any complaints about you. Then it zipped away, wait a second. This Rebecca person, can see me, and tell me what to do. I however, cannot see or talk to her. What kind of nonsense is this, 
I want out of this. I did not sign up for this, I can't believe this. I've been sold into a Sims-like reality. There's not a damn thing I can do about it, so, that's what I can remember from this horrific episode. I'm trapped with no way out. What's worse is I no longer, have control over my life, what I say, what I do, nothing, I am now, a nobody. Just an animated pawn to amuse, the masses with whatever, Rebecca thinks is amusing, interesting or, whatever comes to her mind. I would like to now, express my shame. With the Plotagon software, slash, app, you too, can take total command over characters. Put them in locations and situations for amusement. Come on. You know that you want to, if you don't do it soon. You could end up, like me. Do you really want my fate to be yours? Ah!